Hello my friends, today we're back in Luminar and I am going to show you how to edit those moody green images. This style of editing has been very popular on Instagram in the last year and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. You might think, well, I can just, you know, turn the white balance to very cool and it will give me the same result, but that is not true. You see, if I take the white balance all the way to the left, it just does not give you more the green, it just gives you this uh, very bright cyan. So I'm going to reset that and show you how I would do it. I would like to start by going into the color. And the color, where is it? Somewhere in here. There you go. And I am going to start with the hue. And for the hue, I would like to move the yellows all the way into the green and then take the greens into the cyan. And now we have this like neon green. And then I'll go to saturation and turn the greens down, not all the way, maybe to around there. From there, I'll go to the luminance. And I like to make them a little bit darker, the greens, maybe like that. Then I would like to go to the develop and work a little bit on the curves. For the curves, I would like to maybe add a little bit of blue, just a tiny little bit, not too much. Let's see, maybe like that. And then I'll go to the luminance part of the um, curves. And I would like to take down the lights a little bit, give it a little bit of fade on the darks. And let's see, I like to keep my mid-tones where they were, but I will take down the shadows a little bit to create more contrast. There we go. Now, let's see. The saturation of the greens is still too high. So I am going to go back to the color and take the green saturation down again. There you go. Just like that. Then let's see. I would like to go to the color harmony. And I use this a lot in my photos. And for this one, I would like to maybe take the worms down into the greens a little bit and take the cools down by quite a bit. Maybe like that. Then I like to go to the mood and this is where you can apply lots. And there are a whole bunch of lots in here that are very cooled tone. I'm gonna show you some of them. You'll get different results with each one of them. The first one is Bakersfield. So you see when I apply this, it gives it more blue tone. Another one, it is 1990. That will give you a different, more green, darker tones. Another cool color tone is Tritone. Uh, let's see, what else? Geneva was another cool tone one. My favorite, the one I think I apply to this photo is Seattle and then you also have Gloria that will give you a different result or Venus but for this image I like Seattle let's see what else Maybe that's it for this image. Maybe I, I want to go back into my develop. Give it a little bit, lift up the highlights a little bit. It's a little bit too dark in the highlights. It's taking a little bit to update. Come on, there you go. Maybe it's even a little bit too blue. Maybe I'll add a little bit of green. There you go. All right, and that is our first example. You know, to tone down these greens, I added some green, but then I can also, I don't know, maybe I wanna, you see if you add a little bit of magenta by pulling down the greens, you get more purpley dark. So 
depends on what you like. You can do that or you can add some green. I like it. Maybe around there. Let's take a second example where we have a human so we can see how we how will affect our skin tones and how we deal with that. Oh, I forgot to show you the before and after. So this is the after. And oops. Before and after. Before and after. All right, let's go to our second example. I'll take this photo. And again, I will go into the edits and I will start with my color adjustment. And over here, I'll go to hue and move my yellows to the green and the greens to the cyan. Now this will affect a little bit our skin. So I would like to mask that just a little bit. Because I don't want to change the skin into blue. I'm just going to do a quick rough mask. You can do a better job. So we did a hue. Now we'll go to the saturation. And uh, we'll take down, I'm going to take down the yellows a little bit and the greens. Maybe like that. We'll go to luminance. And I'll just take greens down like that. Next, we'll go to color harmony. And let's see, I don't want to turn the yellows into greens because there's a lot of yellow on the skin tone. So I'm going to leave that like that. But I will make it a little bit cooler. Maybe like that. Then I want to go here into the color balance and Let's see. Onto the shadows. I'm going to add a little bit of cyan. Maybe like that. And maybe a little bit of blue. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. And let's see. We'll go to the curves. Onto the develop panel. And I'm just going to put a slight S curve in here. I'm going to lift up the shadows a little bit, give it that faded look, take down the highlights just a tiny little bit, and give it a little bit more contrast. Maybe I'll lift up the mid tones just because my image is getting a little bit dark. All right. Now I want to go to Skin AI and I'm just going to fix the skin a little bit, put it about 30. I am going to go to Mood and add my lot, the Seattle one that I liked. Where is it, the Seattle? There you go. And that's really changed our skin tones a little bit more than I wanted. So I am going to put a mask on this. Maybe just 50%. It is a 50%. Okay. Just to make this, keep the skin tone. All right. Now the skin tone still looks a little bit greenish to me. So I'm going to back, go back into the color harmony. And into the highlights. I'm going to add a little bit of maybe magenta. Let's see. No, not magenta. Maybe a little bit of red. There you go. A little bit of yellow, just to make the skin tones look a little bit better. And I am going to only paint this effect onto the skin. There you go, like that. So this is before and after. Let's see the whole image. This is our before and after. Before and after. This is how I would edit this uh, moody greens. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe so you will not miss um, the future videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I will see you next time.